Hello, kindergarten parents. I'm Michelle Schultz, and I'll be talking to you about teaching your kids about money. I have such a passion about this topic. I've been a member of Trinity for over 20 years. I've raised two money responsible kids we're super proud of, and am a representative with Thrivent. If you've not heard of Thrivent, we're an organization of Christians who help people be wise with money and inspire them to be generous. The result is we have stronger communities and stronger families. If you've seen or maybe own one of these shirts, you have been part of an action team and you've been able to witness living generously firsthand. You may ask Mary or me for more details about that. I want to instill the importance of teaching your kids about money now. The fact is, if you don't, the world will. Our kids are flooded with ads already. It's all an attempt to separate you or them from money. More than likely, your parents didn't teach you about money. I know mine didn't. I made mistakes. You likely did too. Somehow, we think our kids will just magically learn on their own. They won't. We teach them to ride bikes and so much more. Why not money? please pull out the Teaching Kids Wise Money Habits brochure. We're gonna walk through this briefly. I encourage you to read through it later. Please turn to page two with me. So as parents, I want you to make money talk a priority and start early, which is what you're doing. Resist the marketing blitz. It's surprising how much marketing efforts are aimed at our kids. It's up to us to teach patience and self-control. Teach kids about the three S's. Share, save, spend. In just a second, we're going to use the blue pig to teach you how easy this is. In fact, don't be surprised if you learn something along the way. While it's not practical for you to carry around a great big piggy bank, you should be incorporating these same concepts into your finances. Here's a tough one on the next page. Strategize instead of surrendering. Kids are so good at wearing us down. It's our role as parents to help our kids figure out how to earn money to buy something. This might be taking on special jobs around the neighborhood there's sure a lot of leaves to rake right now, isn't there? Consider an allowance. Here's how we did it years ago. I was not into charting chores. I think there's even an app for that now. That was not me. So I told the kids, I said, you live here and are part of this family. You are expected to do certain things and I made sure they knew what was expected of them. So just as you are expected to do certain things, mommy and daddy are expected to do certain things for our work. We get paid for doing things, and we're gonna pay you too. You will then learn to manage your money. For those extra above and beyond jobs, we would give our kids extra money, so there's a bonus. It was a great system. Here's the best part. When we would be out shopping, they had to make buying decisions. So you know those questions? Mommy, Daddy, can you buy this for me? I would turn to them and say, no, you have your own money. You need to decide if you really want that. Nine times out of 10, probably more like 99 out of 100, they did not buy the item. Funny how it's so much easier to spend mommy and daddy's money versus theirs. So now I'll have you grab that cute blue pig. This is a special pig Thrivent has used for years. As you notice on the top, there are three separate compartments. Share, save, spend. Remember the three S's we talked about? Sharing is money set aside to give away. 
This is the perfect time to talk about tithing. The Bible teaches us to give God 10% of our income. Can you imagine how we Christians could change the world if everyone tithed? Why not teach your kids now? Saving is about buying something later. It's usually something that's going to cost more. Spending, the last compartment, is the money used now. Spending is paying the bills and buying groceries for us. Spending for your kindergartner may be buying a toy or candy. You get the picture. I'll give you two, two guidelines, two different examples. You can incorporate your own percentage. There's 10, share 10, save 10, and spend 80. So 10, 10, 80. Or another suggestion, 10, 20 for saving and 70. So 10, 20, 70. So whatever you do, the important thing is that you always use these same guidelines. We have given your child a $1 bonus, all in dimes. This brings up a good point. Please use coins or single dollar bills to help with the math. If your child gets a $1 bill, it's going to be hard to split it up. So remember I gave you 10, 10, 80 as an example, or 10, 20, 70. You can see how easy it is with these dimes. I decided to share 10%. I've decided to save 10%. And then I have decided I'm going to spend, I'm going to live on the 80%. So 10, 10, 80. As your child gets disciplined with this concept, you may have to go to the bank when a birthday present is cash. You get the idea. As your child has money to share, celebrate when they give the money away. Maybe save compartment gets so full you have to go to the bank to open a savings account. And then with spend, you're gonna be there now to help them make wise decisions. Once they move into the world and they're on their own, you won't be there. So that is why it's so important to teach them now. Now you understand how the pig works please spend some time with your kindergartner talking about the pig and its compartments and determining how to divide your dimes. You do realize these same concepts should apply to you and I. We should be tithing 10%, saving 10% for our retirement, and then living perfectly fine on the remaining 80%. Here's our grace moment. If you haven't been perfect with this, it's okay. Maybe this lesson was as much for you as your kindergartner. We all make mistakes. My goal as a parent was to teach our kids to not make the same mistakes. Their, the biggest mistake is a four letter word called debt. Why do we take it on? because we're not patient enough, have to have it now, and we fail to save. So I'm encouraging you to be intentional now, because by doing so, you will cause your kids to think differently about money. I absolutely guarantee it. Thank you so much for allowing me to share with you today. If I can help you, let me know. I'm here for you. God bless.